IM will be in lane two, Bratton Bouchard. Taylor Ruck, interesting, a young up-and-comer. Spent all but nine months of her life in Canada, but has lived the rest of the time in the United States. And Elizabeth Weissel, once again, boy, she looked absolutely superb. I'm looking at my watch about 40 minutes ago in the 400 IM. Yeah, a lot of these swimmers are coming back from another race. Romano in lane one, Baisel in two, and of course, Hosu in lane number six is coming back as well from that 400 IM. IM earlier in which she was upset by Beisel. And she's coming back now about 45 minutes ago. Not long. Enough time for these athletes, though, Paul. It doesn't take much time. We've seen Missy Frank. Even on the 400 back. IM. Nah, hey, these guys are used to it. The, the, I mean, these athletes are so finely tuned, and they, they do these kinds of things so much at so many different meets, especially Hosu. Gosh, she was just at a meet over in India, the Indian, uh, at the uh, Indian Ocean Games, she won 16 of the 17 events that she swam in. Unbelievable. Well, we said she was cashing some checks, and she's going far and wide to get them. It's the Indian Ocean Championships. I gotta wonder a little bit if, if all these yeah. races are taking yeah. a little, no a little away from her training. Well, you, you balance out. There's a time to make money, and there's a time to, to really train and to focus. And, you know, hopefully we'll get a chance to talk to her. And I know you will, Rowdy, leading up to the uh, Olympic Games coming up in Rio de Janeiro and get a real feel for where she is. But she has been as evidenced by her selection as the FINA female swimmer of the year. Dominic Bouchard, formerly of the University of Missouri, the top qualifier in lane four. But Megan Romano in lane one turns first. Followed by Taylor Ruck, again, the 15-year-old, or make it 14 years of age, currently living in Scottsdale. A lot expected, and she has really got a lot of excitement around her. That is Taylor Ruck in lane five. There she is with a yellow cap. You can see her right above Hosu, who's in lane six. There's Hosu. Romano, the early leader, is way up there on the top. Beisel right next to her. This is a race where, because of these swimmers coming back from swimming that 400 IM, especially Beisel and Hosu, maybe sitting back just a little bit to kind of get that feel for the water back after you've been out. You're tight, your muscles are tight, and you're trying to get a feel back. And boy, Ruck is one of those youngsters who has a great story behind her. Parents are Canadian, even though she was born in Canada. Her brother was actually born in the U.S. She's got a 12-year-old brother. There she is, the yellow cap. And look at her go, Paul. She's, she's tough right now. 50 liters left to go. She's in the lead. And some of the favorites, at least by reputation, maybe the 400 meters did take a little bit out. Beisel coming on in lane two. But Taylor Ruck, again, the 14-year-old, is really moving out. And this would be a notch in her belt. No doubt about it. And I know her parents would love for her to perhaps one day swim for the United States. Going to uphill battle over the next 18 months, but she's so close right now. Bouchard in the middle of the pool in lane four, edging ahead right now, and Beisel up in lane three. Going to be right at the wall. And it and was Bouchard. Dom Dominic Bouchard again swung, swam for the Missouri Tigers now, 23 years of age. And what a fabulous swim over the last 50 meters because the youngster, Taylor Ruck, in lane five, to my eye, Rowdy, and obviously I'll defer to you, had about a half a body length lead. She did. Coming into the home stretch. Yeah, she had that half body length at the 150, and still with about 10 meters left, it certainly looked like she had that lead. There's the start right now. You can see how she gets back. That was Katinka Hosu, who, by the way, faded to sixth place. There's something definitely going on there. There's no reason for her to finish that low. Something must be wrong, but here's the 150 turn. Romano way up there in lane number one, who ended up fading to fifth, but there's that lead for that young 14-year-old swimmer from Scottsdale, Arizona, and here she is. You thought, and you said it. Look, you thought for a second you might, she might have this race, but all of a sudden Bouchard in four, and then Beisel, the two veterans, come in and just nip her 13 one-hundredths of a second was the difference between first and third place. So Ruck with the lead, but it was our winner, Dominic Bouchard, formerly of the University of Missouri, and proudly wearing that Tiger cap. Dominic, talk to us about the turn as you headed for home and what that took energy 
energy wise and concentration wise over those last 50 meters to take over uh, the youngster Taylor Ruck to your outside? Well, I'm kind of known, especially in the NCAA, to finish really well. And so uh, with my training this year, I've been doing a lot of distance work at Missouri. And uh, so I knew I had some left in the tank to definitely finish. And I definitely saw um, the girls beside me and I was like, you really can do this. And got my hand on the wall first. So I'm pretty excited about that. At 23, Dominic, can, can you think back to when you were 14 years old and what must, be go, must have been going through Taylor's mind as you were coming home? Oh, definitely. I mean, I, I'm sure I was in that position when I was 14 too with um, the older girls back then. And it's awesome to see the younger girls coming in and swimming that fast right now in this, at this time in the season. And I'm sure she's going to have a great future. That's a great time and a good race. Thank you very Dominic, much. Dominic, congratulations so very much. And take a look. Take a snapshot of this 